So they continue on and they go back to Bethlehem, Judah. They arrive in the town and of course, all the ladies in the town are all freaking out. They're like, oh my gosh, this is Naomi. We haven't seen her in like 20 years. Naomi, they're like so excited, right? And she's like, do not call me Naomi. Call me Mara because I am bitter. And when I would read that before, I'd be like, dang, she has an attitude problem, okay? <laughs> but the truth is, I actually appreciate this about Naomi. I do. She's not trying to hide where she's come from. See, they didn't have Facebook or, or Instagram, so nobody knew that her, her husband had died and that her son had died. She was devastated. She lost not only everything, but she lost the people that she loved most. And she was alone. And she was not about to pretend that that was okay. And listen, we pretend too much in church that we're okay when we are not. And there is nothing wrong with not being okay. Nothing. See, she still went back to God. She didn't run from him. She ran to him. But she ran to him saying, I am not okay. And what happens in those situations is people like Ruth can see this is how we follow God. We don't put on a front and pretend. That everything's all right. Because when the world sees us act that way, they think that when they follow Jesus, everything should be okay. And when it's not, they think something's wrong with them. That's what's not okay. And so I appreciate Naomi being real because listen, when I wrote that book, Hope Against Hope, I was not okay. This was a, a span of a four or five year time period where I was not okay. I was walking through one of the most difficult times in my life and I still had to get out of bed in the morning. And I still had to go to work and you know what else I still had to do? I had to lead worship on Sunday morning at church. And I did it. And it wasn't fake. It was real. It was authentic. And I never stood on the stage and said, hey, this is what's happening in my life. I never told the church. Probably most of the people, 99% of the people in church didn't know what was going on in my life. But some did. There's women in this room right now who came to me for prayer. I didn't know them until then. Like, I was blessed to be able to stand in the back of our church and pray with women on Sundays when I was walking through that, and they would come, and their husbands had left them, and their children were on drugs, and they were broken, and I could look them in the eye and say, me too. I understand what you're feeling, and I could pray for them with empathy because I was real. So yeah, I appreciate Naomi saying, don't call me Naomi, call me Mara because I'm bitter. 